It's a hot town with summer in the city. The temperatures are sizzling, yet New Yorkers are still working outdoors, exercising, and trying to enjoy the days, even if it's risky for their bodies. Our FDNY paramedics say this hot weather gives them all sorts of problems. It's very difficult both for our call volume because our call volume is going to go up because people tend to still want to go out. So we see an increase in both heat related injuries and illnesses. The temperatures haven't just been uncomfortable. They've also been deadly. The New York City Medical Examiner's Office says at least four people have died from heat related medical issues in recent weeks. Here are the signs your body gives you when the hot weather starts to be dangerous for you. We may see uh, one to three different heat related illnesses and injuries. The first being heat cramps, which is the least serious of all, which is exactly what it sounds like. Secondly is um, heat exhaustion, which is more severe, where you have a total loss of fluid and salt in the body. And signs and symptoms of that will be sweating, dizziness, uh, paleness, possible confusion, uh, a feeling of illness, of not feeling well. And without intervention, that can lead to heat stroke and even death. The hot weather isn't just taking a toll on all of us. It's also been rough on our energy infrastructure. Con Edison is now asking people in Brooklyn to cut back on their energy use for the next day while their crews make necessary repairs to some of their equipment. Here's a list of the communities affected. Crown Heights, Prospect Lefferts Gardens, Flatbush, East Flatbush, Ocean Hill, Brownsville, and East New York. The energy companies say they've had to reduce voltage in the Brooklyn area by 8% while these repairs are being carried out. That leaves the power grid more susceptible to outages. In total, more than 103,000 customers are affected here. Officials are asking everybody in Brooklyn to avoid running their dishwashers and laundry machines, ease off on your air conditioner by letting it warm up a couple of degrees, and turn off all electronic equipment and lights while they're not being used. We'll reduce voltage down by 5%, 8%. A lot of times people won't notice it. Uh, sometimes their uh, elevators won't be working as, um, you know, one elevator will be out, or they may see a flicker in their lights. Uh, but some people refer to that as a brownout.